Hey guys, so we're back. We're doing another one. This one's called The Moonlight Man. Uh, the other video I was going to try to watch ended up just being a reaction video of like five different short films. I'm not watching that. I started to, I was like, yeah, no, fuck this. Uh, so now I, I'm, I, I saw a picture of this on the side and it looks like Edward Scissorhands meets Michael Jackson just from the little image that I, uh, I, I saw. So anyway, this is called the Moonlight, uh, the Moonlight Man. I have to watch it. Looks like Everett's hands of Michael Jackson. It has like uh, the the little um, thumbnail is just this picture of this guy. It looks like a silhouette of a guy with like a fedora on, and he looks like scissors for hands. So I have to see this. I have to know. Is this Michael Jackson? Is this Everett's scissor hands? I need to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Let's do this, bitches. ever noticed that every short horror film and mostly all horror films it's always white people what the fuck like we're not the only people in the world am I the only one noticing that like I, I I don't see any horror movies with like any other ethnicity and if they have other ethnicities in the horror film it's usually like one or two people of, of different ethnicities uh, different races and everything in the fucking film and then they get killed off pretty pretty fucking fast but most of the time, every horror film is just about some white girl or white dude in a fucked up situation that they put themselves in. And let's just see how they get their white ass out of it. I can't. There's no way that it really just kind of sets it up to make it seem like all white people do dumb shit. And while most of that's probably fucking true, not all of us do dumb shit. I, I'll be goddamn. You're not gonna see me jumping out of a plane or going into a, a house that's creepy. If I look at a house and it's all busted down, I'm like, no, the fuck that. There's asbestos in there. Okay, I like my lungs. I like my esophagus. I like I like certain parts of my anatomy the way they are. You know, screw that. Like I just. Uh, you, you, what was that noise in the woods? I'm not gonna fucking find out. There's shit in the woods. Maybe it was a bear. Maybe it was a fox. Maybe it was Michael Myers. I don't know when it could stay over there because I'm not fucking going to go somewhere where I can't see shit. There's woods all around me if I'm in there. Why am I going to look? Why am I going to go in there and look, okay? I'm not, no. I'm going to stay here on the sidewall where it's pretty fucking open. Just every horror movie, same concept. Oh, no fedora. How do you just go uh, and walk away? How are you just walking briskly? Run, bitch! Of course you dropped the keys. Oh, he's fast. Bitch, if he has the keys, do you think he's safe there? He's <gasps> dead! Oh, come on! On. There's no way you're not able to get that yet. You already unlocked the doors. Continuity, bitch. Oh, fuck it. Just kill her. Yeah. You're going to shine it. You're not going to use it as a fucking weapon, apparently. I would I would beat the shit out of you with a flashlight. That's a mag light at that, man. I would just beat the shit out of you. Come on. This killer. He's in the trunk, right? Rawr! Hello! <laughs> this motherfucker took a fucking page out of Ted Bundy's book. I mean, he didn't use, you know, the chloroform, but still. He put her in the trunk. That's, that's total Ted Bundy right there. Total tape, 
I was getting in there having a good time when she works at Hopkins. So all this has done is it's just taught me that people who work at Hopkins aren't as smart as they seem. So that was complete crap. Jesus Christ. We're going to move on in the same video to another one called, let's see, Don't Stare. This one is an award-winning one. Let's see what this kind of fucking awards this one. Let's just see. I got to know. We have to know. Don't Stare by Sparks Productions. It's a lovely car. Owning it, leasing it. Mm. I'm gonna stir the shit out of whatever's gonna come at me. If I'm dying by something, I'm gonna fucking look. I'm goddamn if I'm covering up my eyes. Shit, I'm gonna see what took me out. No, it's damn mine. That way I can haul your ass. Oh shit! Wait. Yes! Yes! It's not a fucking white person. Man, I remember those. Hell yeah, rabbit ears, buddy. Fucking ain't right. That was my first TV. It was my first. It looks like my first TV. Hope you can get some use out of this, Grandma. Oh, Grandma, you. You old fox. Jesus, silver fox. Oh, God damn, that's an old-ass TV. It's got the handles on the side? Hell yeah. Grandma gave you some broke shit. What am I supposed to do with this? The acting's pretty bad, but so far, I'm kind of happy with the film. You gotta hit it harder. Hammer time, bitches. Dude, tell me you're making coffee. I don't know anyone that fucking drinks tea. That's coffee, right? You're making coffee the old school way. Dude's making tea. He's making fucking tea. I don't know anybody that makes tea. And I know a good amount of people. Now one of them makes it. That better be hot chocolate then. It's hot chocolate. With the marshmallows. The little marshmallows in it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like hot chocolate. Fucking A right it is. Hell yeah. I like you. We're friends now. You don't know it, but I'm going to follow you everywhere. <sighs> what did you drop? Yeah, the acting really is not getting any better. It's a lovely house, though. I'm moving in. I'll be in the basement. Oh, it's so fucking hot in here. Oh, I got sweat on my legs. Hey! Having a leather chair was a bad there? idea. Did you say, hey, what's up? I got, did he say, hey, what's up? Hey! Who's out there? Who's out there? Okay, that makes a little more sense. But at the same time, did you expect him to go, Oh, it's just Steve! It's just me, Steve! <laughs> I was just fucking with you. So you're making hot chocolate. I figured, you know, I like marshmallows. You're making it. Why not? Let's get the fuck out of you. And I get to drink it when you came out here. But I didn't make it to the front door. It's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'll come back later. Later. All right. All right. Bye. Uh, it was good shit. Good shit. Uh Okay, this is where you go in the house. You got some creepy little white girl out in the middle of your fucking lawn in the middle of the fucking night, and she's just kind of standing there. You don't need to stand there anymore. I'm like, shit, and yeah, I'm in the house. I'm in the house. Doors locked, knives in my hand. Shit. At all times. At all fucking times. There is always a fucking weapon. There's a weapon in every room. Let something come at me. I've got this. Do you understand? This. Then I have a hatchet. There's knives. There's a knife. There's a knife. There's a knife. And I got a machete. Okay? Let something come at me. There is no, hey, who's out there? There's a, hey, hold this as I throw it at your face. That's what there is. I don't do this. No. You need to get in the house. You need to lock the door. Yes, that's what you need to do. You need to get weapons. You need to make that house as cluttered 
in, in certain areas as possible. That way, if they're trying to get in the house or they get in the house, they make as much noise as possible and you can figure out from the sound where they're at. And this is why I don't do fucking glass doors, man. I will never do a glass door like that. I love them, they look great, but nah. The Strangers has taught me so much. I will not do glass sliding doors. I love the way they look. Why would you answer it? You know it's just gonna be the creepy white girl. Why would you answer? What do you think? It, like, did your friend Steve come over? Did, did, did you, hey, about that hot chocolate. You know, what the fuck, dude? You know who it is. Or it's gonna be no one at all just for creep factor. Why would you unlock it? You didn't even lock it. You didn't even lock it. What are you doing here? You didn't even lock it. I'm lost. Where are your parents? May I come inside and use your phone? Not until you answer my question first. I gotta turn it up, guys. I need to use your phone. Let me in. Now. You didn't lock it. You just shut the fucking door. Close the door on a bitch. Then you didn't even lock it. That's a goofy ass looking door. Like, why aren't you locking it? Deadbolt that shit. Put some furniture in front of it. You got a couch, right? I've seen your house. You got nice shit. Okay, you want to protect you and your nice shit. Put some of your nice shit in front of that nice ass door. It's weird as shit looking with the weird creepy girl with the soulless eyes, okay? Get out of here! Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Get out of here! Okay. There you go. There you go. My man. My man. Except you got glass doors all over that fucking place. Fuck that. I'd have a knife in each hand. I mean, at that point, I mean, she's got... Not that the knife would help at all. She's got creepy, soulless, dark eyes, and I'm pretty sure she's a fucking demon, and at that point, I don't think stabbing a demon is gonna... It's not gonna matter if they're a fucking demon at that point. She's still gonna fucking kill you, but I'll be goddamn... You know what? Fuck it. Do it. Do it. Uh, at least you're going out with a fight, you know? Don't go out like no bitch. You better have left. Yeah. You better. Tell him who's boss. Dude, you need to dust your lamp. I saw cobwebs on that shit. Dust that shit. It's all them glass doors. Cheers. It was good knowing you. I had such high hopes for you, buddy. Such high hopes. Oh, good shit. Mmm. Be home. All this over the fucking TV. <laughs> Need to get that TV back to Grandma. Nana, as fucked up you would do this to me. Okay? On the same day you give me that TV that don't want... All I'm saying... Nana gave you a possessed ass TV. Nana's a bitch. Yeah. Nana does not love you. You were not her favorite grandchild. At all. Ever. Ever. She has been trying to kill you since you were born. Now she's figured out the perfect way. Dude. Fix the rabbit ears. You could probably get 54. WBFF, Fox 45, and WNUV TV 54. Those are the two channels where if you position the rabbit ears just right, you can get them. Alright, well at least he didn't go up the fucking stairs. I mean, at this point, I still don't think it's going to fucking matter. She's going to be in the back of the car. I like him. I like him so far, man. He's doing everything smart like grabbed a weapon, he didn't geek, he didn't trip over his own fucking feet, went out the front door, not up the front steps, door not up the steps, car started, it's a new car so I better have started, I bet his cell phone works too, I like it, I mean the acting's atrocious but I like it, and this is where you lost me buddy, dude just keep going, fuck him, keep going, that's on her, that's on her. You need to hit that bitch. All right. You need to hit her and fuck back it up to make sure she's down. You just keep going. You're in a fucking car. Bad. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Was that it? Did he fu Okay. All right. All right. She's in the back seat of your car now. 
She a ghost. She went right in through the car. Why would you get out, dude? You dumb as shit. See, we were cool. This whole fucking movie, we were cool, dude. And then you went ahead and did some dumb shit like that and got out. I can't be friends with you anymore, man. It's over. I want to see other people. <laughs> She's in the back. You didn't even check the back. Check the back of your car. Common mistake. She's in the back, I told you. I know shit. All right, well, that was Don't Stare. I don't know what that has to do with any... Like, usually the title has something to do with the fucking film. So, that was Don't Stare. Now, here's another one. That was by Sparks Productions. Here's another one called 2 AM, The Smiling Man. And this is by Michael Evans, um, published on July 23rd, 2013. I'll leave the link to this in the description below as well. In fact, I'll leave all the links below. <laughs> that nice. Go for Broke Pictures presents. We need fucking money. Because everybody walks around touching flowers and shit. Are you telling me it's 2 a.m. or is that the name of the time the, the film? That's me. That's usually how I walk down sidewalks. Because that's awesome. I would have to walk to them the same way. You know it's up. You only live once, man. Hell yeah. Enjoy while you got it. Fuck walking across the street. You need to shuffle by. <laughs> Slide by, motherfucker. Please let him be on the other side now. Kind of looks like Jim Carrey. I like this guy. I like him. It's got like a clockwork orange kind of feel to it a little. He's walking to you like a T-Rex? Come on! Why is it, like, I would have so much fun with that. I mean, if he's going to kill me, I might as well just have fun. While he's doing that, I'd totally be just... Do -dum, 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 do -dum. I Pink Panther that shit, man. Just do it. I would be looking up, like, dude, what the fuck are you smiling at? I need to know. I want to feel happy. He's color coordinated, at least. That's fun. How have you just, like, if it's creeping you out that much, why are you still standing there, buddy? Why are you still standing there? Riddle me that, motherfucker. Because he kind of looks like, I don't know, he looks he looks like Jim Carrey, and he looks like Edward Nigma at the same time. He looks like the Riddler meets Jim Carrey. And I'm not talking Jim Carrey's shitty-ass Riddler with the fucking pink hair or orange hair. I'm talking like Frank Gorshin Riddler. He has that vibe about him. What the hell do you want? <clears throat> yeah, let's talk to the creeper. <clears throat> All he needs is a pencil thin mustache. Uh, something fucked up's gonna happen. This is where I jump. Are you gonna make me jump? You gonna turn around and be all fucked up in the face? So I'm going to be behind him. Man, I got chills from that. That was kind of creepy. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Something so simplistic. Yeah, let's take a breather. Smiling man can't run that fast. You've already lost it. 
Oh no, never mind, there he is. Come out of the shadows. I'm Batman. Totally has a Jim Carrey feel to it with the way he was looking. That was it? Come on. Dude, that could have been so much better. God damn it. Alright, so I think that's it for me on these short films today. Uh, that was The Smiling Man. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what other kind of videos are out there. I'll watch and uh, see what I can uh, muster up. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Which which video was your favorite? Let me know in the description below. And uh, later, bitches.